Photoshop has been around for a quarter of a century and is still the industry standard for photographic image editing. Clicking the Photoshop icon in the dock opens the program. And as you can see, there's a work area with an options menu at the top of it and a toolbar. As with most programs, Photoshop can either open files or create files. Most of the time in Photoshop will be opening files. There are a number of ways to open files in Photoshop. Going up to the Apple menu, clicking dragging on file to open will allow you to navigate down to the image you want to open, click on it, click open, or double click it. Perhaps the easiest way to open an image in Photoshop is simply to drag it to the Photoshop icon and the program opens the image to work on. With the image open, let's take a closer look at the toolbar. At the top of the toolbar is a toggle switch that allows the toolbar to be configured either as a double column toolbar or by clicking it, a single column toolbar. We'll leave it here as a single column toolbar for simplicity's sake. The first tool at the top of the toolbar indicated by the black arrowhead is the move tool, which at its simplest allows you to move items in the frame that have been selected. That's the move tool. The next three tools going down are all various means of selecting um, areas in the image to be worked on. You'll notice in the corner of many of the tools in the toolbar there is a small black triangle. By clicking and dragging on that you will access options for setting parameters on the tools. We're going to leave this as the rectangular marquee tool, but it should be noted that many of these tools have options allied with them. Let's examine our three selection tools and how they operate differently. As we said, the next three tools on the toolbar, we're going to select the top one, the rectangular marquee tool. As we move over onto the image, we see a crosshair. By dragging it, Within the frame, we can see a broken running line, also known as the marching ants. With our marquee tool still selected, we can move our selection that we've drawn anywhere in the frame we'd like, and it changes the selection. By clicking on the move tool, we can then drag, and it moves the selection indicated by the marching ants that we've made here. I'm going to undo this and deselect it to show our next tool. The next tool, selection tool that we had was the lasso tool. And again, there is an options triangle in it that allows us to select various types of lasso tools. We're just going to leave it here for on our top one for the purposes of this demonstration. As we drag over, we can see there's a lasso icon. And as we freehand draw by dragging the mouse, making sure that we close the selection. Again, you can see the marching ants indicating the area that we've selected. Again, by clicking on the Move tool and dragging it, we can see that the area that we've selected has been activated for working on. Again, I'll deselect it and move on to our Magic Wand tool. Our final selection tool is the Magic Wand tool. It operates slightly differently from the two above in that instead of drawing an area to be selected, it actually uses color as its method of selection and works in conjunction with the options menu at the top of the work area to set the parameters for what's being selected. It has a point sample selected here as the sample size and a tolerance of 60 selected. When I have those selected and I put my magic wand on an area of color within the photographic frame and click, you can see the marching ants where it's selected a large swath of the blue to be worked on. Let's deselect that for a second and reset our tolerance down to 3. And when I click in the same area, you can see the sample size that is selected is much smaller at this point in that the running um, broken line or the marching ants here is an eighth of what it was. Let's go back and reset to 70 on our tolerance. We'll deselect that area and click again and you can see once again it's selected the entire blue sky. 
So by setting a higher tolerance up in your options menu, you tend to select more of colors of the same tone. This covers our review of the three selection tools available in Photoshop. Here are some key terms that we've reviewed.